This is your guide on salvaging in Star Citizen's 318 patch. With the transition from PTU to Live, there's been a lot of questions on where is salvage and how do you find it, because the changes have been significant since the testing environment. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in less than 5 minutes. First off, it goes without saying you'll need to buy a Vulture or Reclaimer. Unfortunately, the Vulture is only available on the Pledge Store. You can buy a Reclaimer in-game for the low cost of 15 million AUEC, but if you do get your hands on one, here's the first place to look. Any Lagrange point in the game is going to have good options. But in my opinion, the best secret gem is the Yellow Ring. I like to go to a random spot on the ring and do a zigzag to cover as much as possible. Now how do you find it? Once you're there, you're going to press V to open up your scanner. You're going to cruise at about 200 meters per second and you'll want to ping about every 5 seconds. When you get scan markers, point directly at them. Top right, it will auto-populate with a number that says RS Signature or Resource Signature. The higher this number, the more resources there. However, for salvage, you're looking for intervals of 2,000. 2,000 being one panel, 4,000 being two, 6,000 being three, and so on. If you see anything that's divisible by 1,700, 3,200, 5,100, you can completely ignore it because that is a mineable rock. It took me about 3 or 4 minutes to find this, but we got two signatures, one with 4,000 and one with 6,000. Once you're on location, there are three different types of panels, small, medium, and large. Small producing half a box, medium producing three and a half boxes, and large producing a whopping seven and a half boxes. Just keep in mind that each panel is always worth 2,000 on the resource signature, so you will have to investigate to see if it's worth your time. Once you start salvaging, there are two different modules, the cinch and the abrade. Think of the cinch as the slow and steady but effective, and the abrade is the quick but also pretty effective. Overall, I think the abrade is much better. Then if you alt and scroll wheel forward, you're going to see your salvaging arms move apart. I like to set mine to 0.07, and this creates kind of a line that I can strafe down and gather more resource all at once. The annoying part of the vulture is without a bunny, you will have to leave your seat every other box to clear the dispenser. I'm all for skillful gameplay, but in my opinion, this is just kind of annoying more than anything. After you've collected your salvage, there are a few places to sell. Orison, New Babbage, and Area 18 all have TTDs to sell each box at nearly 8,000 per SEU. Grim Hex also buys at Dumper's Depot and Scrapyards like Brio's on Daymar. But keep in mind, selling to places like this will only get you about 6,000 per box. And you'll have to make sure to watch out for pirates. The trading hub on Orison is the closest and the safest, so I'm going to show you where to sell there. Once you've landed at Orison, you're going to want to head to the shuttle station. Take the shuttle on the right outside of the elevators and head to the Cloud View Center. Exit the shuttle to the right and go across the bridge directly across from the Habs. You're going to see a building with a golden globe on it. This is the TDD. Head inside and head to a console and you should be able to select your vulture and sell immediately. And you've just made your first sell in Star Citizen with Salvage. And we got it done quick. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck in the verse. And watch out for a new salvage tutorial when 319 drops. We're getting lootable components. And I cannot wait. This is Burks signing off.